Hey guys, and welcome to Jay's Nest. Today we are talking diaper pods. And at the very end, we'll kind of compare diaper pods to wet bags. <laughs> You're in my cabinet for the last time in this house, most likely, because we're moving. You know what time it is. Jay Jabbers is a little mini series that's kind of expanded into a bigger series, but I just take a random topic from the cloth diapering community. It's very impromptu because these videos are generally quick for me to edit and put together, which for this stage of life, this is really all I have to give you guys, and I'm so sorry. So what is a diaper pod? But these are oddly shaped. Um, they usually have like a boxy shape, so this looks like a type of rectangle. This can fit a decent amount of diapers. I think it fits anywhere from six to nine diapers depending on how big they are. Some pods only fit like three to four diapers but this one is um, a little bit bigger. So the purpose of these is to put your diapers in. So there are a few ways that you can put your diapers in and use this. Let's say your child goes to daycare, you can pack all of their diapers in this. You can stick wipes in it as well and diaper cream. There's no extra zipper for wipes or diaper cream, but you could definitely stick it in there. One way that I use it is I just take this on the go as my diaper bag. I, I don't carry a purse. I don't really like carrying a diaper bag. So I'll stick a bunch of diapers in here when we're on the go. I'll stick some cloth wipes in there and then I'll also stick some ointment in there and just carry it like this. And for the case of dirty diapers, if we're on the go and my children have a dirty diaper, I will take a different wet bag and attach it to my diaper pod. Wet bags usually have a snap-on handle, so I'll wrap that handle around and snap it onto the pod, and I carry it like this. I know it's not the most convenient or looks pretty, but this is one way that you can use it. This one way that I use it. I don't try to overcomplicate it. It's not that complicated. I just carry this around the store instead of a bag. Though for some people, you might prefer carrying a diaper bag. I know there are tons of ways that you can do it. You'll find that I'm pretty lazy with my cloth diapering and I try to just keep it real simple and not think too much about it. Sometimes what people will also do is they'll stick a bunch of diapers in this and then stick it inside of their diaper bag as a way to separate all the storage inside their diaper bag. So they must have a huge diaper bag or a backpack style. I like the backpack style when it comes to diaper bags. So if you have multiple children, you could get two pods or three pods depending on how many children you're diapering and stick all of their diapers in each pod so you know whose diapers are which. And of course you could always use wet bags and diaper pods for things that aren't even cloth diapering related. I use wet bags for everything. We put snacks in here, we put drinks in here, we camp a lot, we love to camp. So the kids will pack the clothes in here. I really like wet bags, not talking about the pods, but I really like wet bags with the double pockets. So it has one big pocket opening and then it has a smaller pocket opening. You can just do so many things with this. So really, what's the difference between a wet bag and a diaper pod? Well, a wet bag's purpose is mainly for dirty diapers. So whenever your baby pees or poops on their diapers and you're on the go, stick your stuff in there, zip it up. And handles like this, I find to be helpful when they have the detachable handle with the snap because you can just wrap it around your diaper bag. This mainly stores clean diapers, so you clean diapers when you're on the go, and this stores, wet bag stores dirty diapers when you're on the go. I don't find this to be great to store clean diapers just because of the shape of it. It's flat and it doesn't hold as many diapers. I have used regular wet bags to store diapers, but I find diaper pods to be great. I mean, they have this awesome shape to really hold diapers, clean diapers. I mean, I don't think diaper pods are necessary when it comes to cloth diapering. If you're looking at the bare minimum of what you need for cloth diapering, diaper pods really aren't it. But I personally think wet bags are totally worth the investment. I use wet bags to store things when we go to the pool, so wet bathing suits, we use it for camping for all of my children, and we have seven children, we have a lot. I also use a wet bag to store my makeup in. I use it as a makeup bag. We use it to store snacks, we use it to store drinks when they're on their go. There are just so many ways to use wet bags, and those are just a few ways. You okay? You could always use plastic bags when you're on the go instead of wet bags, but you can find wet bags for fairly cheap for anywhere from three to seven dollars, depending on where you buy it. I know like eBay has some really, really cheap ones, so 
I don't know. I think wet bags are totally worth the investment. Diaper pods, not so much. Diaper pods are mainly to store clean diapers, though you could store dirty diapers in here. I use my diaper pod pretty much as a diaper bag when I'm on the go. It works for me. I don't really like carrying around lots of things because I can tend to be forgetful when I'm out and about. So I enjoy something that's small and compact for me. But I don't think this would be great for like a really, really long trip, especially if you're diapering multiple children. But I think, you know, for a quick trip out of the house or if you don't want to carry a diaper bag, I think, you know, this isn't bad. Necessary? No. Do I like it? Yes. Would I recommend one? Maybe. <laughs> depending on what you're needing for your cloth diapering experience. It's not necessary, so I'm not going to be shouting from the rooftops saying that you absolutely need a diaper pod. I could definitely live without it, but it is convenient because I don't like carrying around lots of bags. So if you're someone like me, you don't like to carry around a lot of things, you can pretty much stick everything in here. I would also bring a wet bag as well so you can snap onto it for your dirty diapers because you wouldn't want to be on the go and then your baby poops twice and then you have to put your poopy diapers and your clean diapers all in one spot. All right, she's getting really fussy. I need to feed her. I have to finish packing up this kitchen. I mean, there's just crap everywhere. And I'm throwing my husband a surprise party today. He has no freaking clue. And he decided to pack up half the house today because he doesn't know we're having a surprise party. Let me show you. So, the dining area where we're going to have everybody, he decided to just pack everything up. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this area. So my next cabinet talk might be at my new house in a different cabinet, in a different setting. I'm gonna miss this house. I appreciate you guys for watching and supporting my channel and I'll see you in my new house.